This is the current state of the road from Natete to Kampala. The poor state of roads, especially in and around Kampala city, has been of concern to many citizens. The situation has been worsened by the heavy rains due to the El Nino phenomenon. Motorists struggle to meander and maneuver through the affected sections of the roads. The situation is no different in other places like Chinawataka. The head of the Japan delegation, Kakishita Yoshihiro, has emphasized the importance of good infrastructure in economic development while addressing the Uganda-Japan Quality Infrastructure Workshop in Kampala. The quality infrastructure that Avira provides focuses not only the quantity of development, but also the quality of growth and human-centric. The Japan Deputy Head of Mission, Yoshimura Tomotaka, pledged his government's commitment to continue supporting Uganda's infrastructure development, however emphasizing the importance of regular and timely road maintenance. If the potholes are left for a long time, the repairing cost might be higher than earlier repairs. It is also the same for equipment maintenance. Please keep that in mind. The Minister of Works Engineer-in-Chief Samuel Vagonza says the dialogue is aimed at assessing the implementation of a memorandum of cooperation signed between Uganda and Japan in infrastructure development and also highlighted key needs for Uganda. Our needs on the Ugandan side relate to training, to capacity building, skills enhancement, technological transfer, innovative methods of construction and partnerships. In turn, the State Minister for Works, Musa Echeru, says government is equally concerned about the poor state of the road network, which it blames on, among other factors, the heavy rains. I am saddened by the accidents that characterize the movement right now across the country, and I will be speaking about that at a different point, particularly to caution the traveling public in this festive season on how we want them to move and move safely. However, he says efforts are underway to make emergency or temporary interventions to ensure continuous traffic flow. But what is critical now is to make them motorable. And that's what we are going to undertake, to make sure that the entire country remains connected. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.